Okay, so I have to bring you and show you the world's smallest elevators on a cruise ship. Welcome to the world's smallest elevators for such a large ship. Little bitty elevators. Little bitty. Says they can fit 17 people on this little elevator. I don't see it happening. We are on board the newest carnival ship. This is Jubilee, and we are gonna take you on a full ship tour. We will show you all of the amazing outdoor decks and the inside decks. Let's get started. We are on Lido deck right now, and this is really a true two and a half story Lido deck because you've got deck 16 where the pool is, you've got deck 17 where the loungers are, and then it goes up from there to deck 18 that overlooks into Lido as well. Giving it the full two story feel, the Red Frog Tiki Bar is two stories as well. So it starts down here on 16 and goes up into 17. On the other side of the Lido deck is the food. So right behind me is the Blue Iguana Cantina. It is open for breakfast and lunch. And right across from the Blue Iguana Cantina is the Seafood Shack and Street Eats. This is a great place to come and get a snack. The Seafood Shack is open late, but the Street Eats is open until about five o'clock every day. So it's perfect for that snack to hold you over until dinner time. I will say the pool is not huge here, but there are other pool options. But this Lido dip will hold a lot of people. Being up here on the sail away party, on deck parties, you know, this ship holds about 6,000 people and having a lot of people on this deck, you can feel it, but you can, it can definitely hold them. So that's a good positive for his, the capacity of this ship. Remember how I said these decks were equipped for lots of people? Look at all these sun loungers. There are plenty of loungers. There are loungers on 16, 17, and 18, and then you even have a serenity above that, so you're not gonna have a problem finding a sun lounger on a sea day. Serenity is the adults only area, and this is a massive serenity. Tons of sun loungers, beds, couches, um, lounging pods, I'll call them. Some are in the sun, some are in the shade. So no matter where you wanna get, I'm a shade girl, Jason's a sun guy, we can come up here and find a spot that'll fit us. And this class of ship even has a swimming pool in Serenity in addition to the massive hot tubs up here. On deck 16 between the Lido Pool and the Tides Pool is the Lido Marketplace Buffet. Here you can come for breakfast, lunch, and dinner to get something to eat. Aft on deck 16 is the Tides Pool. So this is an infinity pool, nice size pool. Looks like you're going off the side of the ship, plus two very large hot tubs back here. And in addition to all this fun, you have the Tides Bar, which is open pretty late. You have Swirls, ice cream station right here, and one of my personal favorites Shaq's Big Chicken. On deck 17 right behind the Tiki Bar is Guy's Burger Joint. This, uh, love Guy's Burgers number one. So they're open every single day from 12 to 6 so you can hit it at lunch or you can hit it right before it's dinner time. Very good burgers on the ship too. And right next to Guy's Burgers is the entrance to Club 02. This is the teen club for ages 15 to 17 years old. Also on deck 17, come through Guy's Burgers into the hallway area where the elevators are, and you're gonna find the other teen club, which is 12 to 14 year olds, Circle C, and the entrance to the 24 hours open arcade. Deck 18, mid shift and aft is called the ultimate playground for a reason. Up here, you will have the water park, Carnival Waterworks. You will also have the sports court, a jogging track, a crazy looking ropes course, which I'm too scared to try for myself, mini golf, and of course, Bolt, which is the only roller coaster at sea, all up here on deck 18.
So we've showed you everything on the upper decks and now we've moved inside and we're gonna show you decks six, seven, and eight. So if the Lido pool area is the heartbeat of the upper decks, then center stage is the heartbeat of the inside area. This is unique to the XL class ships. It's basically a second theater right in the center. You've got a big stage, performances are done here, the morning show is done here, bingo, lots of other things. And then right now, it's just a beautiful uh, screen of an ocean view. So there's seating for this on six, on seven, and on eight. So you can definitely find a seat for whatever's going on here at Center Stage. Right across from Center Stage is Java Blue Cafe. So this is the specialty coffee area, but there's also free coffee right here, a water station, snacks throughout the day, and extra yummy desserts. Midship on deck six is the Golden Mermaid. So right here, this is one of the themed bars of Jubilee. And here in the evenings, you're most likely to find country music playing because this is the Lone Star ship that sails out of Texas. Deck six midship is also where you're gonna find the Atlantic restaurant. This is where you're gonna come if you have set dining for early or late. Anytime dining is in the Pacific. But did you notice that? The two dining rooms are named the Atlantic and the Pacific, and you're about to see this whole area right here has a coastal vibe to it. Right around the corner from the Golden Mermaid is Dr. Inc.'s PhD. This is a really cool themed bar. You can see the octopus coming up around it. Again, everything's got a very coastal theme right here. So you've got the bar on this side and a very nice plush seating area across from it. From center stage, heading forward on the ship on deck six, you're gonna come to Piano Bar 88. This is open every night at 9 p.m. until late. So this is one of the later venues, but don't expect to get here early because it does not open till nine. Right across from Piano Bar 88 is the Punchliner Comedy Club. So every single night here, they have comedians doing live shows. There are early shows that are family friendly and later shows that are just for adults. All the way forward on deck six is the Cloud Nine Spa. So on one side, you have the spa, which has a thermal suite, treatment rooms, a salon, and on the other side is the fitness center. I really love on this Carnival Jubilee marquee here, how it shows the theming of this ship. You can see the, the the pier from Galveston. You can see the coastal theming. I really like how they did this. Deck six going aft towards the main dining room is Emerald's Bistro. This is a really cool area right here. The food is at an extra cost, but very reasonably priced. And you're getting that taste of the South. So this is a Galveston chip, but we're right next door to Louisiana. So we're getting that little bit of a Cajun vibe here.
Okay, now we are up to deck seven. We are starting all the way forward on deck seven at the Jubilee Theater. As you can see, it is a nice size theater, plenty of seatings, lots of different shows going on in here. There are new shows specifically for this ship. There's also an entrance on deck six that's ADA accessible, but the main entrance is on deck seven. Right after the theater, working all the way down to midship is the Jubilee Casino. Very large casino. It does have a smoking area and a non-smoking area. Area. There's lots of slots and tables. I will tell you this is the busiest I've ever seen a casino on this ship. Every time we've gone through here when it's in when it's sailing, it's been super super busy, but you can see it right now completely empty. Midship on deck seven is everybody's carnival favorite, the Alchemy Bar. This sits right above Dr. Inc.'s PhD, so you've got the vibe of both going right here, plus it's in the middle of currents. Tucked in behind Alchemy Bar is the Limelight Lounge. So this is a venue that's used for lots of different things. It's also a comedy club. In addition to Punchliner, there are specific shows in here, um, magician shows, other types of smaller venue shows, and then this becomes the nightclub late at night. Going just past Alchemy Bar, this is the coolest area of the ship to me. This is called Currents. There's a seating area here and there's screens that light up with sea life all around you. And as we keep heading aft through Currents, we come to Fahrenheit 555, which is the Carnival Steakhouse. There's also a bar right in front of here. Little fact, Alchemy does not serve beer. So if you're a beer drinker and wanna hang out with friends at Alchemy, you come right over here to this bar to get your beer. And then all the way aft on deck six and seven is the Pacific Restaurant. This is the main dining room for those who have anytime dining. Also right now with anytime dining, you can choose to eat here. Cucina del Capitano, Chebang, or Guys Pick and Anchor Smokehouse, all included with Anytime Dining. This is such a cool concept. This is Carnival Kitchen. It's only on these XL class ships, and they literally do different types of cooking classes every day. They are an extra cost, but not too badly priced. And it's just right here where if you aren't doing the cooking show, you can walk by and watch it happening. But I thought that was really, really neat. By the way, I'm also a travel agent for Carnival and any other cruise line, so let me help you book your next trip. It doesn't cost you anything. On deck eight and we are starting all the way back at summer landing first off let me tell you deck eight is packed there's so much to do on this deck this is where a lot of the food venues are so let's get started number one back here in summer landing there are three different areas that make up summer landing the first is guys pig and anchor smokehouse this venue is open for breakfast which is a light buffet in the back it is open for lunch on Sea Days, which is the outdoor, like kind of uh, grab and go section. And then at night, it becomes a true sit down restaurant where you come, you place your order, they bring you your food, and then there is the backyard band that plays every night. So, this is a very happening area all throughout the day. The second area of Summer Landing is the Heroes Tribute Lounge. This is the sports bar. So it has big TV screens all throughout here and there's TV screens throughout Guys Pig and Anchor Smokehouse. We are on board during the NFL playoffs, so this area has been packed. If you wanna watch a game, get here early. Also, this is where another of the soft serve stations is. 
And lastly is the patio area. So this is another infinity pool. There was one up on 16, there's one down here on eight. Large hot tubs over to the side, lots of seating out here. And this has been a very nice place to come and relax all throughout the day. These are our favorite hot tubs on the ship. Shh, little secret, people forget about them because they're tucked away on the side back here on the patio. But this is a really cool area because you have the two hot tubs and you have an outdoor bar called the watering hole. Okay, coming back inside now, we're going to make our way forward throughout Deck 8. Past Summer Landing is Guest Services, and then right past Guest Services is Carnival Adventures, which is the Shore Excursions Desk. Okay, now we're getting into more food venues. So right here, we're sticking with our coastal theme, and we have three food venues. One is Rudy's Sea Grill, which is a specialty dining seafood restaurant. Then we have what is called the Carnival Deli on other ships, but it's Beach Bums, or Beach buns on this one and this is where you can get your sandwiches hot dogs etc and then we go a little bit further to coastal slice which is the pizza also in the shores area as they're calling it here on deck eight is cochina del capitano which is the italian restaurant this is not considered specialty dining on the jubilee it is included and you just make a reservation and go and of course this area would not be complete without a themed bar so this is the marina bar i absolutely love the oars up on the ceiling and this bar is an inside and outside bar the outdoor marina bar is one of our favorite places to come, especially while we're sailing. You get those beautiful views of the ocean as you sail by with the cool breeze coming. Also, point of note for you smokers, this is one of the smoking sections. The other one is on deck 17 aft overlooking the tides pool. This ship does have the digital photo gallery, so they don't print the pictures and put them up. They're on the screens. You just type in your folio number and you can see any pictures that you've taken and choose to buy them or not. So I mentioned when we were on deck six at Central Stage that you can see it from deck seven and eight also. So we're up here on deck eight and you can see how bright it is behind me and you've got a very clear view of whatever's happening downstairs. More food venues. I said deck eight was full of them. So right here behind me is Bonsai Sushi and Bonsai Teppanyaki. So pro tip, if you want a table at Teppanyaki, be sure to book it far in advance. Don't wait till you get on board because that does book up quickly. Bonsai Sushi, on the other hand, always has free tables. You can just walk up and order whatever you want. I just love this little walkway right here. So it looks like you're walking across glass. Not sure if it's glass or not, but it's really cool walking across here. You've got the bright screens behind you. If you look down on the other side, you can see the Grand View Bar and it's surrounded by mirrors, so it looks huge. If you look on the other side, you're looking down into Grand Central and then right around the corner, here is a staircase down into the casino. As you turn the corner around Grand Central, you're gonna come to Havana Bar. So this is another themed bar on the ship. They do have Latin music in here most nights and it goes out into the Havana patio. So you do have to be staying in the Havana area with a Havana cabin to enjoy that part of the ship, but you can see it from out here, but everybody can enjoy the bar. Forward on deck eight across from the Havana bar is Chebang. So this is an unusual restaurant. It is Chinese and Mexican fusion, but it works. It's pretty darn good. They are open for lunch on sea days and dinner every single night. No extra charge for this, it's all included.
and that is a wrap from the Carnival Jubilee. Hope you enjoyed this ship. We sure have. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos to come. And we'll see you next time. Happy cruising. Bye.